Next video. The odds of this happen are 1 in 12,000. Nope, 12 million. 728,144. Rarest thing you've ever witnessed. That, that got to be the rarest thing game. ever. Maybe a crazy That's a crazy game word. Winner, a big man who never takes threes knocking down the long ball. Possibly a wild stat line from an individual player. Maybe it's Shaquille O'Neal tearing down an entire hoop in the middle of a you game. Know, That's probably up there. It gotta be. Think about it. How many times have I seen someone dunk a ball since that moment? Hey, pal. You just blowing from stupid town? But it'd be happy to know. What about Stephen it, Curry it, going up for a dunk? Know. The man Not hasn't NBA dunked game, in a game though. in over four years. And when he does Dang. attempt one, he is less likely to succeed than he is when he attempts a free throw. But that makes sense. what is the rarest thing to happen in an NBA game? Back in 1987, Larry Bird hit two game winners in the same game. The first one went in, what? but was waved off because his coach called a timeout right as he was releasing the ball. So it technically didn't count. But he's Larry Bird, so he just hits another one to ice the game for good. Not Damn. sure if that's ever happened before. Larry's crazy for that. He's tough or for what that. About Larry, you're Michael tough Jordan for that. Missing a dunk and Damn. The Twitter bird and all that was inspired by Larry Bird. They got rid of that shit. Disrespecting Larry. An event oh. like this was so rare that when it wow. happened, opposing fans would celebrate like they just won an NBA championship. The league began keeping track of play-by-play -play data in Michael's last four seasons in the NBA. And in those last four seasons, MJ only missed seven dunks, making it one of the rarest sights in basketball. But what about a play so rare that it's only That's happened crazy. one time in the history of the NBA? Seen a a oh, play that it. realistically crazy. shouldn't even be possible. Well, I think I found it. And he's still up this? there with one more coming his way. Oh, he just slammed down the board. He gets a technical. He might get thrown out. He's what is going on? What is going on? Jake Lehman. Why are we look? I'm pretty sure that Jake Lehman. Why are we looking at Jake Lehman? How is he? Did he make the impossible play? All I seen was Draymond being mad, Steve being mad, Zach Collins being mad, bro. Physical product. The four-point play, a rare moment in basketball that yields more points than any single shot ever mm -hmm. could. Tough to pull off, but if you watch enough NBA basketball, you'll see plenty of these. But the yeah. five-point play, now there's an occurrence that ah. even the most avid basketball fans may have never seen in their entire lives. In fact, it's so rare that the NBA doesn't even keep track of the stat. In order to achieve a five-point play, the stars ah. must align, and a glitch in the matrix needs to occur at just the precise moment. And that's pretty much the only way to pull this thing off. Like in 2014, so when the Clippers faced off against the Nuggets, and Ty Lawson pulled this off. The reset on the shot clock. Lawson has to hoist. And one. Foul call? Yes, and a chance for the fourth point. That's three. That stops the clock. Or the, or the yellow light goes, comes off. Nice. That's four. So it is a five-point play. Absolutely. So it's three, the one, and the one tap. As soon as the foul is committed, the clock stops. Right. Because of the uh, yes, commentator. That's five. But he this did it. isn't the only method in which a player can achieve a five-point play. He did play. it for real. Back in 2018, in a game featuring I, the Boston Celtics. But I stay seeing this video back in the day. I clicked on it, watched it, and I still didn't understand Celtics a little bit. in the OKC Thunder. Kyrie Irving he hits a three, a foul, missed Russell a lay. While shooting a three. That's what happened. He hits the shot. Kyrie goes to the line and prepares to sink the extra points to secure the four-point play. Except he misses it. And who needs four points? When you can get five. Oh, Without you, the ball you ever it. changing possession, Kyrie Irving scored five straight points, completing the elusive mm. five-point play. Now, this is the extent to which mm. I thought players could take these rare okay. plays. If four points wasn't enough, five points in a single play is as many as you're ever going to get. Yeah. Or at least that's what I thought. That's what After I thought, searching too. searching the internet for six instances points. of six or even seven-point oh, plays, okay. I didn't find much. There's they no said, yeah, database for these plays. They aren't officially recorded yeah. as any sort of meaningful stat. And the concept of a six or seven point play can be interpreted be in many different ways. Like this clip of Reggie Miller in the second round of the 1995 playoffs against the Knicks, where some fans Reggie say Miller. he executed one of the only complete six point plays in NBA Big history. The play oh. starts when Reggie gets the ball on the perimeter and knocks down a three. He then commits it's an act of violence on this poor guy, gets away Push with him. it, then steals one of the what? most dog shit inbound passes I've ever seen they in my life, three. then hits another three. 
Now, some may call this a six-point play, but, I just but it can curious. be. According to the so NBA still. rulebook, a team is in possession of the ball when a player is holding, dribbling, or passing the ball. The moment Reggie hits this first three, the Knicks grab the it's ball over. and attempt the inbounds pass, which mm -hmm. immediately ends Pacers' possession. These two shots were taken on two and it separate just, plays. It's just a steal so at that point. This That's all at that point, just a steal. It's not a true six-point play. But what about a seven-point play? What? And I know what you're we didn't even find thinking. six. This isn't possible, but it is, and it's happened. An NBA team has actually scored seven straight points without the oh. ball ever leaving their possession. And out of all the games and players and moments that this could have taken place, it oh. was pulled off in the NBA Finals. For real? Last year in Game 3 of the 2022 NBA in. Finals, the Warriors were trailing the Celtics 73-82 to with five minutes left in the third quarter. The Celtics had all the momentum and were sitting on a comfortable lead. This, however, would not last long. With five minutes and six seconds left on the clock, Steph nails a three-pointer and draws a shooting foul on Al Horford. But it's no ordinary shooting foul. Horford did not give Steph enough room to make a safe Ooh. landing after his shot. So this foul was elevated to a flagrant foul, mm. which means the Warriors are awarded a free throw and possession of the ball. So Steph steps up to the line and knocks down the extra uh, points. That's four. After the then they throw, just hit the a three. still have possession, so they inbound the ball and scramble to get an open look. But so they got hit an eight point the play. Ends up in the hands of Otto Porter Jr. Keep in mind, we are still on the same singular possession that started with Steph's three. Now Otto didn't need to take this shot. There's still 12 seconds left on the clock, and well, he's got two of the best shooters we've ever seen. What is this thing Otto Porter about to do, bro? But he pulls up anyways. And he drills it mm. in just 13 seconds of game time. The Warriors closed a near but that's not a single play deficit though. to just two, completing possibly the first play and in. only seven point play. But hold on a second. Did all of this truly take place in the same play or multiple plays? Well, ah. you could certainly make the argument that this three pointer, and yeah, this three pointer, was kind of place the way that the video was saying, yeah. I, I would have counted these as different two plays. two distinct, different plays. So what exactly is a play in the NBA? Well, to find a definitive ruling, I looked it up. And, uh, this didn't help. But regardless of how you define a play, the Golden State Warriors managed to score seven points on one single possession without ever missing a shot. You may never see yeah. anything like this Bro, again. Except the Jake and Lehman this, that you my just friends, showed. is where the line ends. This is where the possibilities of weird and unlikely... But at, at this point, the way that you're saying it, seven points is not impossible. Eight points is not impossible. All it takes is the flagrant after that. that. To score more than seven points in a single play would be a one in a million chance. In fact, there can be as many as 250,000 possessions in any given NBA season. Multiply that over the course of decades and decades of games and the odds of a single play yeah, yielding crazy. more than seven points is not just one in a million it's one in millions and yet it's happened eight points one Dang. play it's February yeah, play, man. 13th 2019 the Warriors again are facing the Blazers in Portland there's about four minutes left in the fourth and the Blazers mm. have taken control of the game the score is 110 to that 103. Collins, Blazers have the lead and possession. The Warriors are completely unraveling. Draymond Green is becoming more unhinged with each passing moment. Okay. So in an Play effort to crazy. stop the bleeding, Draymond does Jericho. what only he could do as the all-time elite defensive player that he is. Dang. Absolutely hack the opposing player. Zach Collins is awarded two free throws and heads to the line. And this, my friends, is where Smack all hell breaks him. loose. The refs review the foul and bump the call from a common foul so to a flagrant him. foul. That means the Blazers will retain possession after the free throws. Draymond Green can't believe the call, so he attempts to do what no player has ever done before. Convince the ref to overturn the call by shouting in his face. This does not work, and Draymond is handed a technical foul. But while all not this hear, is unfolding, to hear that Steve Kerr is descending into a manic episode over the call. Oh, he so now ejected. he's ripping the ref a new one. Ref ain't having it, so he throws Steve Kerr out of the game. Chaos ensues. In a matter of 60 seconds, I remember this, Draymond's actually. original shooting foul has turned Plus into Steve two Kerr free throws case. from the flagrant foul, three free throws from the technical fouls, and possession of the ball back to the Blazers. 
So Damian Lillard steps to the line and knocks down the first free throw from the first tech, and that's one point. He knocks down the second free throw from the second technical foul, and that's two points. He steps up for the third free throw from the third tech, and he nails that. Kerr. That's three points. But now Zach Collins steps up to the line to shoot the his foul. two free throws from the flagrant foul committed by uh. Draymond, and he knocks down both. That's five points, uh. and the Blazers haven't and even shot to hit a field a goal yet. And because Draymond committed a flagrant foul, the Blazers retain possession. They inbound the ball, get right into their set, and to close out a possession that started Jay with Layman. a measly little shooting foul, Seth Curry swings the ball to Jake Lehman, who you. knocks down the corner three, bringing the total number of points to off of 15. this one play to eight. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how the Portland Trail Blazers became the first NBA team to pull you know, that's crazy for real. And these eight you points know what? didn't just come off of that one is a, possession. That is a true eight-point play. I, and the only reason I'm saying is that is because y'all can't see. Hold on, let me let me move out the way real quick. I'll go up here real quick. Is peep peep how it said all of this is a 54. The time didn't change, but the points went up. You know what? Except except here, but you know, I'm counting it. Eight point play. You right back. And these eight points didn't just come off of one possession. They all came from the same singular play. In fact, there's only exactly. one distinct play that took place it, it throughout this entire the sequence of events. And that was the final cross-court pass to Lehman. Draymond's initial foul sparked a series mm. of events that spiraled into absolute chaos and resulted in eight points on one play. But you don't got to take my word for it. Had on Jake the Lehman Trailblazers' geek. official channel, they posted this entire sequence describing it in one sentence. I looked. I scoured the web. According to everything I can find, this is the one and only time in NBA history that a team managed to pull off the impossibly rare eight-point play. You know that the is the rarest play in NBA history. For real. You know, Jimmy W video. Let me see what it's W video. Jimmy.